Hey, good morning. It's uh, Tuesday and uh, August 9th. You can see the bugs are horrendous this morning. We didn't sleep very good at all. So we woke up 2, 3 o'clock this morning to lightning and thunder and some rain. Getting breakfast ready. We're about packed up. We're trying to get out of here. So here, let me show you some scenery. So this morning for breakfast, we're having bacon taters. Potatoes are good for hot days. It helps with potassium for your for your legs. So since we have Asgard today, potatoes it is. And got some coffee going. Alright, I gotta go fight some bugs. Alright, it's about eight o'clock. We'll get ready to leave camp, do a final sweep, make sure we didn't leave anything. And off we go. A bunch of day hikers have already gone by, along with some of the folks we saw yesterday. It started raining again, cloud system rolled in. So so far we feel pretty good this morning. Um pack is still heavy we're joking about that uh, we were hoping that potato breakfast made it just a little bit lighter no they feel heavier <laughs> saw some campsites along the way now we know the campsites on cold check are sometimes not very uh apparent all right there she is escard pass it's pretty cool there's like a waterfall on the top that cascades down to this like a waterfall you can see there's a boulder field so we stopped for a second to put our poles up because not gonna be able to use those right now. That's super beautiful in here. You ready for this? Uh, we'll see. Right, this is what we're we're bouldering through this field here, and it's slow going. This uh, boulder field is uh, no joke. Very disadvantageous to little people. It was butt and sliding on some of these bigger drops here. We made it through the big boulder field. It's now raining, so the rocks are all slick. We dropped in this little campsite here. So we begin our ascent to Asgard. We're gonna enjoy this trail a little bit. Just taking our time. We have all day. Oh, my feet are going to be sore by the time we get up there. We came across a, a group of three day hikers sitting in this spot. We're going to make sure we take breaks today. But we'll enjoy this view and have a uh, stinger waffle. We'll take another break in a couple hours. Let me show you what's behind us. But this is beautiful. And I got to tell you, although it's cloudy today, I am grateful for that going up this. Because it was hot and sunny. It's pretty humid though because of the, the rain. It's falling down though the higher we get. So we're, we're making our way up. I think we're, we're getting toward the larches. We're almost to the wall and then we go left. Left of the larches. We go behind that tree. So last night we were in camp, it was about 9 o'clock, it just got dark. And all of a sudden there was crash bang, it sounded like eight boot stomps come trashing into camp. And we look out the tent and there were two mountain goats. Hey, weather just rolled in, it's raining pretty good now, you can see. So we stopped to put our raincoats on and we're going to try to get up a little higher and then have lunch. There's Karen. We're slowly but surely, I think we're about halfway up. So we're... Almost to this big rock, lunch break. So we're in this large uh, rock overhang. That's our lunch view. We had uh, tuna fish on a tortilla for lunch, some chips, now we're sugaring up. We're enjoying this. It's still raining, it's starting to rain harder again. <laughs> this is what we're going up right now. It's a uh, silty, rocky, loose, but you can see the fall summit. Here is Mount Baker. Clouds have been moving out. The lake is, we are closer to the top than we are to the lake. We're heading right up there, and at the top of this is Ascar Pass. We had to boulder up this, throw our packs up. Our knees are all scraped up because we basically had to climb it. That was freaking hard. We still have to go up this way. Those three ladies, big shout out. You really saved our bacons. We are, we are dragging Heine Ho here. We're almost 
Almost there, I think. We are getting close. You're gonna hear some hooting and hollering here in a minute. I think we're on the pass. I gotta tell you, that is super tough. Ask our pass, man. Love and respect there. Because you're like Ipswich, flat top, open acreage, and some of the New Zealand hikes I've done all combined into one. Because you are a tough bee. Now we're coming into the core zone. Oh, I think we hit the core zone. Oh my God. Woo! Man, that was beautiful. I know. We gotta find a campsite. It's really windy as you can hear and uh, it's cold. So these three ladies right here helped us out. Saved our bacon, Saved our bacon getting up this rock. So big heart to you guys. You're so welcome. Enjoy your through hike today. We made it. We're heading down into the core zone. Uh, saw a baby goat with mom. Check this out. Just check this out. This is incredible. Look at this. Ever come into the toilet sign? So I think there's some campgrounds back up, back up in here. Lake Isolation has campgrounds, but there's no toilet. One of the guys that um, we saw yesterday uh, greeted us at the toilet sign. He told us this was a really nice campsite, and it is. So we put our packs down here. I'm not sure the name of that lake, but I'll find that out. Natasha is running over behind that rock wall there's another campsite see which one would be better uh, some person left a big old load right there didn't bother covering it up Just some rocks over it Looking at these dark clouds rolling in from the west southwest area, and uh, we're trying to get the tent set up because that looks like right. Just got water boiled, got dinner in the cozy. We are having Thai chicken with noodles and some veggies. Wind died down, sun came out. This is home for the night. Reflections of the day um, that was. The toughest hike I've ever done in my life today. We were just all happy that we got up it. Tomorrow is a, a Nero, if you will. We're gonna hike two miles down the trail to uh, Perfection Lake. It's like a water cone, but back there we can see one, two, three, four, possibly five mile hikes back. So Natasha, thoughts on today? This is one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. Probably will never do it again. At least, definitely not with a, a pack. But it's absolutely gorgeous up here. Pretty proud of us for getting up this pass. It was tough. Mm -hmm.